This is how I live, I live. This is what I love of. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Welcome to another episode. That was a country version, Music Love Life. Love Life. <laughs> it was calm, though. I, I'm, I'm going to maybe one day get all of them together, back to back. You the, should. The funny ones and the the calm. That was a calm one, I thought. Was it? Serene. We just had that drawl there, Music Love yeah. Life. Well, we in the South. I'm excited to be back. We missed them. For a week, right? Yeah, yeah, I feel like I haven't seen you guys and so much has happened. Mm-hmm. Like, I had a ri- the, the, the ride conference and then A3C and then... Your birthday? At my birthday. Well, I did see you guys on my birthday. <laughs> right. I was about to say, mm-hmm. we came. But I mean, I didn't see... we didn't, we that. didn't. Yeah, and, and it was just a lot of, of... We were all just... It was a lot going on. Atlanta was as full of a lot of things yeah, happening. Yeah, it would be yeah. a lot going on. King yeah. Kunta, uh, one of the members of the Slack and also a host of Black on Both Sides, mm-hmm. uh, said that... He was surprised that me and Kit weren't didn't have to serve at your birthday party. Why would he say that? Because he feels like you're a little bougie, and so he oh, said, wow. he's, he's said that's that. very, that's not nice, King Kunta. <laughs> that's really not nice. He's not the first person I've heard say that Crystal's bougie. Bougie, though. right? This is, this I don't is, know. I don't, a thing. I don't agree with that. I don't <laughs> agree looked, with you that. You seem a little offended. I am very offended. Really? I mean, it was a good time, right? We had no, a we good had a great time. time. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it was a good time. She even time. gave us an honorable mention. She of did. Course. She she talked about all vaginas, and then out of out of nowhere. Out of the blue, she talks about me and Kevin. Right. <laughs> because, well, there was only like, well, there were five of my guy friends there and then like 20 women, right? And so then I forgot, like, wait a minute, this is not cool. I but I mean, you missed some vaginas, but you called out these these two. But in general, it was a lot of women's empowerment. There she was. Did. She definitely shared the there was, spotlight there, there was a lot at of her crying. birthday. There yeah, was a lot of crying. Of oh, yeah. And I was, because I was crying. It did, because it was just, I don't throw <sighs> birthday parties. And for me to do that, and then the people that, you know, there, there were genuine people at my party. I work around a lot of very superficial, disingenuine people, but the people that were there were genuine people. And I just, it, it, it touched me that they came out. It touched me that you guys came it was with a nice your beautiful time. ladies and. You know, you guys wouldn't miss it. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you so much. It was a nice time. I I, I appreciate the invite and I enjoyed myself. I'm glad it was very hot on the rooftop. You guys, I think, had the best table because it was in the shade. Well, we, we're VIP. <laughs> you were. We of require course. the best. Give me your best table. <laughs> Music, but love, life. No shout out to Cafe Circa. Sorry. No, no, no. They, they ran out no. of eggs. What? At brunch. I didn't even know that. <laughs> they did. They ran out of bacon. They ran out of bacon at brunch. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> no, I wanted to give y'all a good they shout said, out. Everybody ordered omelets, man. Yeah, that's, that's I'm, what never, <laughs> I'm never gonna have another party there. It was like the rooftop just it just it wasn't quite up to spec as um, far as the the heat. Well, no, the heat they can't they can't do anything oh. about the heat, but the carpet they were like it just looked really bad in the sunlight. Like it probably looked really cool at, at night. Night, right? It's a night thing. I it's think. definitely mm. a night thing, but um, yeah, it's a night rooftop. Yeah, it's not yeah. a day roof. I don't think there is a rooftop. There's a day rooftop, though. Honestly, if it's hot in Atlanta, I don't know. But shout, well, shout's closed now. It's five church, but they used to have a really cool. You guys came to the day party there. It was yeah. a really cool day party. But shouts out to Rondu Entertainment for throwing the party for me and. Um, you know, he has the the uh, the Do You Baby and the Fuck Cancer program going on. We're going to have him on the show yep. in the next couple of weeks. So he he did a good job. But yeah, I I don't know about brunch where you run out of eggs or bacon. The, the party part of it was nice. The- yeah, and the cake. Can we shout out to Black Diamond Edible Creations? The cake was absolutely beautiful. The cake was dope. I didn't even know it was a cake. I thought it was just some like a pretty decoration. It looked so perfect. Yeah, it had a tutu. I was so excited. One of my friends said I look like a, a large five-year-old in all the videos and pictures. <laughs> well, you were crying a lot like five-year-olds. I was touched. I, I was either crying or clapping. Yeah. There was pink everywhere. I yeah. I, I was, was so happy. Everywhere. So how come? I, I mean, I'm just I'm just wondering. There was a there was a moment where you gathered all the women to take a picture. Yeah. Women's empowerment. Yeah. She had like Oprah hands. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, I even saw Instagram videos of y'all grinding or whatever. Yeah. Together, but I mean, there was never a time when it, there was. You know, what I'm saying like. You didn't. It, it, Did you want to be in a picture? I mean, I wouldn't have minded it if we got all well, got. Well, I got, got good got pictures picture. of you all. I have lovely pictures of you with your ladies. Mm. Yeah, you and your ladies. That's. I mean, the ladies lead when I'm there. They're going to be the ones that we focus on. I don't know what that means. Well, they are. They are the leaders when when when. when how can how can they lead when 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 I'm there? 
Well, it, it's very simple. It's, that's where the focus is. Have you is. been reading Think Like a Man? <laughs> so we're just going to, oh, I get it. it we're, mm-hmm. It's like we're playing. It's, <laughs> it's like, like role like, reversal. Yeah, we're, play, we're playing, role play. Okay, yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah man. Be Stedman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, wow. Cool. wow. I don't know if I could be Stedman. That's a lot of years. It's nothing wrong with Stedman. That's a lot of years. Well, no, let me, let me say that back. It's Oprah. She about worth about two point eight I billion. I think you could do it. Yeah, you I can, can figure it, it out. Mm. Now I can figure it out for two point eight billion. You know what? Speaking of Stedman and Oprah on OWN, there's the Black Love documentary. Did you guys see that? Nope. I know Kevin texted me. I don't know if he texted in the in the main group. Did I see the interview with Tina Knowles and and Richard Lawson? And I hadn't seen it until today, because um, I was kind of in a birthday haze. I really like tricked out on myself like an old man, guys. Like I, I bought myself so you bought much. You some, some bitches. I, I not bitches, but anything else. Like I bought clothes. Big I took myself on a top. vacation. I bought a puppy. I did a lot of stuff. Like I felt like I could have whatever I like. Like mm-hmm. I just did it, you know. Because if you can't find a guy to do it, you should do it for yourself. That's not true. I think so. Um. Yeah, but in any case, um, the Black Love documentary. So Tina, Tina Knowles, Beyonce's mama, mm-hmm. right? Is is first of all, Black Love is a show that celebrates couples, right? Black couples. It, it's like it breaks down the ingredients of love and that kind of thing. I'm a big fan of it. So I was very shocked to hear men, so many black men saying that Tina Knowles emasculated her man and she was the reason that this is an example of how come black men aren't happy in relationships. And I was like, what did she do? Did she talk about his money? Did she embarrass his, him because of his penis size? Like, what did she do? So I see the video and all she did was say that he wasn't perfect and that um, he, she felt like he had approached her and, and hit on her first, basically complimented her first. But really it was about her saying that he, she prayed to God, she made a list, and he was most of the things but not all. So is that the black man's definition of emasculation? That's just a raggedy ass thing to say on TV. Man, look. How is it raggedy I could, ass? If I could talk to Tina Knowles right now, I would say, Tina, tell that man to shut the fuck up. <laughs> that Richard Lawson, nigga, her daughter is Beyonce. You upset because she said you ain't perfect? But why does the Beyonce thing even matter? And then though? he did you see him? He like clutched his pearls like. He was he did all look of a mad. Sudden he swole. was bothered. He looked very Nigga. mad. He looked very bothered. Man, man, look, if you can't take somebody saying that you ain't perfect, like that's the biggest insult. I agree. That was she could have win. You know, if a woman wanted to embarrass you and say some shit, she could have win. You ain't got as much but money as my daughter's husband. How come you ain't bossed up like uh, my son-in-law? Like, it could have went bad. He, how about she could have said, I'm doing an interview, honey. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, what has she ever done besides have a baby? Um, she has it don't matter. She's still Beyonce mom. She, she didn't even she, have two good babies. She only had one good baby. The other st- one is, you know what? The other one is kind of. First of all, first of all, what you're not going to do? I love Solange. <laughs> what you're I, not going to do <laughs> is down Solange because no, 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 we talking about perfection. Solange's now. gonna if, box if, your ass. If we talk talking about, shit, if we talking about perfection, when we're holding everybody to Beyonce's motherfucking standard, then we have to hold Solange to Beyonce's standard too. First of all, Solange is dope. Solange, I don't know what you're talking about. I think Solange is dope, but she's not. Do you? Do you really be honest? Because it doesn't sound like you do. I think she's all right. No, she's not. I think all right. Beyonce she's is dope. all right, though. Y'all don't want to talk about some perfection. I, I wish a motherfucker would tell me I'm not perfect. Go somewhere. Get off this interview. Hey, man, hold on. Let's be for real. Lie. N- n- <laughs> nigga, you Richard Lawson. Who? Okay. Nigga, you what's Richard his, Lawson. What's his background? You're not, hold on. Did, did Richard Lawson win the Nobel Peace Prize? Did this nigga. Why you got to win a Nobel Peace hold Prize? Hold on. What, the, like, what, what, what great did he do? What great has she done? What great? She just had a fucking baby. She laid on her back. Got dug out. Oh, got, no. Nigga, no, nigga no, she had no, twins no, no. and performed on stage when everybody said she wasn't even pregnant. <laughs> talking about Beyonce? Uh, you talking yes. about, I'm talking about talking Tina. About That's what Beyonce mom. did. We talking about Tina. Nigga, All right, so, say that. so Richard Lawson is an American actor. Um, I was Welcome Back, Kyle, or some shit. Richard Lawson. Was, That's um, what I'm thinking of. Hey, who the fuck is Richard Lawson? <laughs> Poltergeist and Dr. Ben Taylor. In Who? the 1983 NBC miniseries. Who? Like, like you, do you expect, it's not because she light-skinned, but goddammit, 
Do you expect, do you she expect Tina skin. Knowles to not have an ego? Her fucking daughter, Beyonce. Nigga, yeah, Richard but, Lawson. Mm, what has she done? Mm, nothing. House of Darion? No, stop Nigga, it. her daughter is Beyonce. It was you Beyonce Richard Lawson. Stylist, and it, and they on. launched a, a wonderful home of fashion, the house of fashion called House of Darion. I am a fan. Now, she's a very obviously opinionated woman. She, she speaks her mind. And I mean, you know, but he knew what he signed up for. All these she people. Had two, what did he do? What all did Richard Lawson do? With a purple it? heart? She had two here. slightly above average light skinned daughters. One of them happened to trick everybody into believing she's the greatest entertainer of all time. I mean, she's not, she hasn't really done that much to have an opinion like that. Shut, she need to shut up. Like, play along. I mean, who who has hey, a perfect. What, what fucking person goes on an interview about black love? Like, well, you're not exactly perfect, hon. But, uh, you know, I've, I've noticed your, your tummy's getting a little. Like, what the, shut the fuck, what's wrong with you? You are perfect. You are my perfect man. I'm so glad I found, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of shit you say on a love interview. You don't keep that shit real on the, on the love well, that, interview. But no, 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 you no, know no. That's what? the point. So, the point is that you do keep it real because no. they're trying to help people actually have real love. That's not. And in order to have real love, you got to be honest. Richard no, Lawson just no. should have shut the fuck up. She wasn't <laughs> nobody talking to you. <laughs> then he the one interjected, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Um, no, First nigga. of all, she lied. Shut the fuck up. First right. of all, she lied. You see, you see, I'm sitting up here lying. <laughs> right. You see, I'm sitting up here lying it to people. Obvious. Why the fuck you want to ask me some real shit? It was obvious. She's oh, the I'm one. Not. Who, yeah, she's the one who said he was. A, it was the fuck obvious, up, nigga. The way, <laughs> the way that it turned out, it just it was obvious. But I don't. I, it doesn't even matter. Tina knows that. Shut your old ass up. <laughs> I mean, I I just I didn't think it was emasculation. I thought, I don't think so either. Yeah, I think it was, that just, was just rude. I mean, it, uh, 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 I didn't think it was rude. I thought be she a was man. just take that shit, man. Hold that shit. No, nah, don't take that shit. Nah, you should have hey, slide, slide slapped her. Side slapped pop, her. Pop. <laughs> that you won't show out no goddamn old, old interview again. It's one of them pretty old school motherfuckers. <laughs> one motherfuckers got long pinky nails. He'll slap the shit out of you. Right? How the fuck you gonna talk mm, about me in front of all these bitch. goddamn people? Yeah, well, she, 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 you know, uh, I think that a lot of times when people look into something, people from the outside may think that person is wrong, but people on the inside, like, that's probably their dynamic. She's obviously a lot more outspoken than he is, or at least in public, because he was kind of quiet. People were actually comparing it to the Robin Givens and Mike Tyson <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Interview, nothing which like was that. ridiculous. It was he, nothing. He like sunk that. in his seat like that dude from Belly that was like, "You gonna get yours, B?" He, he was, right. he, he, was <laughs> he was all in his feelings. Yeah, what you want, Mike Tyson? You talking about uh, Lawson? Lawson was yeah. in his feelings, but Mike Tyson wasn't even. He didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> he was just right. like, he was just a, a, a pig. He was yeah, he was just at the slaughter. He didn't he know. He just what knew was happening. she could talk circles around him, so he didn't want to try her. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he understood. I think she talked too fast and too proper for him to keep up with what she was nah, saying. Nah, I think he heard her clear and was like, should I hit her now? Shout out to Robin Givens for being a, a black chick in the past that had no ass, but everybody fell in love with her. Name another black woman. We have a whole with, lot of choices, though. Name another it? black woman with no ass that everybody liked. But you know what? I interviewed Nivea. Um, I, I interviewed Nivea the day before yesterday. And if you guys mm. want to see that interview, you can go to our Facebook page and see it. But she talked about the fact when she first got in the business that the bodies were not, you weren't supposed to be curvy. Like you were supposed to be very thin and not have, you know, big ass and all that wasn't really cool back then. She said now mama agree. bodies are in to where, you know, it's cool to have a big butt and hips and curves. So Is that like, what's called mama bodies? She called it Nivea deemed it mama body. I, I love agree. it. I, I I have a mama body. I'm good with it. I hashtag mama, that, body. mama body. Ha- hashtag <laughs> mama body. Shouts out to Nivea. She got a new project coming out. Like I don't, I don't know that Nivea's the 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 subject matter expert on what dudes like back in the day. Well, she was in the industry. Maybe Mama Bodies. Uh, Lila Rashawn. Lila Rashawn was in the same movie. Everybody liked her more than Robin Givens. True or false? The no, walking, that wasn't the same the, movie. The that one was walking not the, the same dog. Movie. Yes, the one walking the dog. Oh, yes, it was. Is that, is that colorism? No, she was finer. Do we, do we like Lena Rashawn because she was finer? No, or because she, she was finer. Because she was light skinned. No, because she was finer. She gave her edge. No, she was finer. Robin Givens it was a nice looking woman. Until Robin Givens started opening her damn mouth, everybody loved Robin Givens too. Okay, Lena Rashawn was more curvaceous. Much more. Yeah. Yeah. She wins in that back then. I don't know about now, but back then she wins. Robin Givens was a prototype to Omarosa. Damn. I, I used to love Robin Givens, so I, I thought everybody she was did until she, she destroyed Mike Tyson. I did not. I've never liked Omarosa. I don't think it's the same thing. I think Robin Givens was gorgeous. She's very small, you know, so I couldn't really relate to that. But she was just she was educated. We just didn't she have social like, media then. 
Yeah. But she was scandalous. And that's why nobody really fucked with her. I don't know. She was, mm-hmm. I mean, she was like a Kar- Kardashian. I mean, she was Yeah, but if you was paper. a Mike Tyson fan, you was like, man, yeah, she did do that man, dude. Fuck Robin what, Gibbons. What, I mean, Mike Tyson. Without ever throwing a punch. Oh, please. Fuck Robin Gibbons. Damn, still. That's how niggas still mad about that. Fuck Robin Gibbons. Are they really? Yeah, After I am. Mike Tyson has done so, he bit a full ear Heartless. off and we're still mad at her? Yeah, he's a savage. Who's, who's <laughs> mad at Mike Tyson? <laughs> What? Evander not even he mad at him. He bit the ear afterwards. Yeah. I know, but I'm just saying. Before obviously, he was petting pigeons. Obviously, we... Be- <laughs> I hate you, Rat. What? <laughs> he was beating the shit out of people, too. Raping people. Come on, he man. He was a professional. Who did he rape? He was a professional hitman. Hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. Who did he rape? The girl he ate out? Get the fuck out of here, man. Did you just... Like snap your see? arm like fuck out of here, man. <laughs> fuck out of here. I know y'all can't see niggas this. Niggas are upset this, about he's tight-lipped. He's tight. Niggas are upset about Be the honest, way Mike Tyson tight. was done throughout his life. Are they? First mm-hmm. he got played with. That mm-hmm. ain't cool. Mm-hmm. Then he was the, the the people's champ. Teddy Atlas on podcast and shit talking about he was never really a great fighter. What the fuck? Teddy Atlas, sit your old ass down. Teddy Atlas said that shit away from Mike Tyson is what the fuck <laughs> he did. Mike Tyson. Do y'all think Mike Tyson could still beat somebody's ass? Yes. Absolutely. But let, me ask you, let me ask you a question, Crystal. Would you like to find out? No. no <laughs> if Mike Tyson came here right now and smacked you on your ass and called you a bitch, I wouldn't say anything. That's going to be the. I would move my ass. She would get in the passenger seat. <laughs> okay, Mike. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would move out the way. He I is not finna away. break up my house. Mike still got a check, too. They still spend a hangover I'm money. I'm not saying shit. shit to Mike Tyson. No, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm getting out of the way. Okay. That's Anybody what I'm that has a, ta- a tribal tattoo on their face. Right. Is someone that doesn't have anything to lose. Nah, you like them strong, aggressive yeah, motherfuckers. Like the football yeah. player. Oh, Mike, I don't, Mike want, I don't want no part of that. I, Mike I don't, might get it. I don't want to fight. I don't want no part of that. He ain't going to fight you. He'll love him. No. Fight that person. <laughs> he didn't have too many cases. <laughs> <laughs> beat it up, beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. No, I hate That's such a horrible, horrible term. Beat what? it up. Beat that's it up? just so ridiculous. Bang, 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 bang. I hate what's, it. What's the term you use best that you like best? I don't like. Anything with aggression towards that very beautiful. That's my John Witherspoon. It's, every now and then. Out. Every now and then. I mean, you can, you can. I mean, but you don't. It should never be like a that. That just doesn't. So sound. you like making love? That's what you like. I mean, I every, like every no. night. I like passion, but I don't. Every I don't want night. someone to say I'm a beat up because that's that's just doesn't even sound right to me. Beat I don't your like back that. Out. No, I don't <laughs> like that. Bike your bike. Up in your bike. Put it up in your bike. <laughs> <laughs> like an old ass man. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. Up in your bike. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, no, not at all. No, no, but, no, no. So I. So, but speaking of that, I did. I did something for myself. I. I gave myself a me present. Okay. And I. I had a vaginal rejuvenation. How's that for you? It's for me because How? because you have to get to know yourself and love yourself. First. You wanted to grip Don't your you, fingers can't better? Don't you just use vinegar? Oh, my God. Which one did you say, oh, my God, to? Say yours again. <laughs> can't no. you just use vinegar? And I said, what, you wanted to grip your fingers better? That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Same, time. Same time. Same time. I don't know dog. you. <laughs> so, I mean, if it's for you. What, what, it's for me because you want to feel good about yourself. You want to feel at one with your yoni. You know, you want to feel confident, and, and and intimacy starts with you. Okay. That and so I I want to shout out my doctor, Doctor Lisa so Boots Taylor. Schoolish. It is not. It is the it truth. It does sound like after school. Doctor Lisa Boots Taylor. She has a whole. You know, she's a plastic surgeon, and uh-huh. there's a lot of women. Women are deciding that they're going to do things for themselves with their body. So a lot of times people think that plastic surgery is for men, but really it's about the woman sometimes wanting to just do some, you know, oh, something shit. for herself. I thought it was so you could. Get on Instagram and make some money in Snapchat. I'm not making any money with my situation yeah, at all. Yeah, you tighten up your Snap yeah. chat. It's not really just about tightening up. It's just about prettying Yeah, tell us about what things. this, what this what yes. actually means. So Does they it, put a filter on it? No, they don't. They do not put a filter on it. They basically, basically they go in and there's three different procedures you go in um, three different sessions and basically it just it it tightens it rejuvenates it helps you to be able to achieve orgasm faster and 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 um it just it just it's kind of like a little maintenance and upkeep and what you know? method though like do what do you like a drawstring <laughs> you're ignorant as hell. for a spray bottle <laughs> 
You know, I mean? you know what? I'm not going to even respond. Dignify those ignorant remarks with the response. What? But I'm curious. No, I, I you know it's not a knowledge. spray bottle. You know that there's no such thing as a spray bottle. They they basically. I'm not going to go into the procedure, but just know, ladies, that it just it just beautifies the area. You know, use towels. Got to use towels. Is there any cutting? No, there's no cutting. No cutting. Not in what I had. Now there are there are all types of things you can We're do. Like the late the labia major or whatever. They can. T- oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Be honest. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, my yeah, God, yeah. you get a you get a you, a, you, a, you get a, a gold book. star yeah. today. All right. No, so there are some women that want it to be per- look perfect, and, and basically like it makes curtains, it. They trim the meat curtains or the bologna sandwich down. They can cut if the lips are trim the drapes. Yes, I I would assume I'm not going to call them drapes. Prolapsed. But basically, what it does is it just <laughs> it just makes everything look like it Neat. did before it was introduced to. So like a kid, kind of yeah. Ugh. Really? Mm, I need my I need my pussy to be a little or oh, a little mature. Grown. But, yeah, we, we, we got a little we, grown we, woman. We rolled the years back. Okay, so I kind of feel like it's like an engine that takes the like if you don't roll the miles. I not, think, not a thing. Have you ever have you used it yet? I am not going to use it ever because I feel I'm going to use it, but I Bye. feel like now you're going to take that new pussy on the town. No, no, no. <laughs> but I feel like the 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 quality of the guy that I would share. It's like virginity again. It is. Wow. I gotta be very careful. And this and he nigga's gonna have sex for the first time again. She's yeah. Like, I want it to be on, not on prom night. I want it, maybe it's prom Sunday. Like I not prom make Saturday. Sure Waiting for someone special. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. Not in the car. This can't be. Can't be in the well, car. shit I've ever heard. What in the car? Waiting for someone special. I to, am to retake your virginity. Oh God. yes, I am. But you got kids. They they it's have okay. They have a way to uh, replace the hymen. Don't you they? can't. You can't. Um, you're you're not gonna shame me. That's what you're not Ooh, gonna shame do. You, you said I have kids. So what? I've turned the clock back, and this is for me. Uh, yeah. And this is good. This is, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. Did you get your hymen replaced too? No, no, Should've I didn't need did to that. do that. It just go. It basically just it just makes everything okay. new again. I get my carpet clean every year too. It's not carpet. It is not carpet. I'm, I'm, what what carpet is he considering carpet? And there are three. I have a question. Yes. Okay. So I remember having sex with virgins before. Yes. I, I, very few times because of how unpleasant the experience is. Really? Yeah. See, I, I, I don't know from being on the other side of that. I look forward to um, having this experience again. But I do, I do. I think it makes me take a mental. I did it because I was like, you know what? I just came out of a relationship. You guys know that, and I right. just, I'm in a different place in my life, and I just want to be in a more. Um, I've decided that I'm going to kind of go back to how I was when I was a lot younger, and I was like, I wanted to be. You know, you really want to, you really want to give your body the value and respect that it deserves. Yeah. And you also want to, you know, like I said, intimacy starts. It should start with you. So respect your temple. You so that, yeah. so that means guys who are trying to take her out, no after parties, mm-hmm. no, no back to the original, right? I'm going back to the original. No after parties. Back to She's in, in what the, in after parties? I'm right, right back to that. <laughs> yeah. Nine thirty. See, I think everything. You know, the more things change, the more they say the same. So I've gone back to that crystal. How much does a venture like this cost a, a woman? There's are fifteen hundred per session. Fifteen hundred dollars per session. Three sessions. Yeah, three sessions. Everyone will need three, or everyone would need maybe everyone two. Needs one. Everyone okay. needs three. Everyone needs three, and then after so that, so it's not three because it's no, battle, no. battle damage. And that's another thing. How it's no such thing as battle this? damage. It's no because I, I asked the doctor, <laughs> and I'm actually I'm actually doing like a mini documentary on it. Oh, there's no such thing as battle damage. Like yes, men there is. think there is. No, there's no, not. There is. There's some pock marks and dents no, back in there. No, there's not. It's not. From Come on, man. It's not. No, it's not. Come on. Not even from babies. Not even from babies. From birth and babies, yes. But men tend to think that their sex is doing things. It's not. Everyone's gen- genes are different. Right. So women's bodies are going to look different depending on, you know, what their genetic makeup is. So Mad Max Fury Road vagina compared to like been married most of our life. But there vagina. are, you know, you that you would you would you would you would make a big mistake because a girl who has had a lot of sex partners may not. You know, her her genetic makeup may not look. You know, it may be a smaller, more intact. Flower, where someone else, you know, may have a rosebud that is <laughs> that has burst. You okay. know, rosebud. Yeah, yeah, the rosebud may. That's like the tire at NFL camp. Okay, well, that's not what we're saying. So fifteen hundred session, fifteen hundred 1500 session, and like I said, if you're in Atlanta, you should definitely um, visit Dr. Lisa Boots Taylor. I'll put her website up later. But it, it basically is just it's it's something that I think women you got to think in the in you know until recently 
women have only done things externally um, to, and, and a lot of times, a lot of them have issues they don't feel good about that are underneath their clothes. So I didn't necessarily have any issue. I just wanted to do something special for myself. And I don't think, I think that we have to get over feeling a sense of shame. A lot of times women don't look at themselves, you know, in that area, they, they kind of, it's like a taboo thing and it should not be that way. I still don't get how you get something from it though. Unless what is it because skinnier well, dildos are cheaper? Is like, it like regular maintenance? You do you have to do it every so often? Thank or? you for that intelligent question, Kevin. So um <laughs> yes, once a year you can like go back oil change? once a year and and you know just have how it many refreshed. Miles? Refreshed. It's not about mileage. Every few years you said? It's not about miles, because the vagina is a wonderful and a, a wonderful I agree. Thing. It is wonderful. I agree. Yeah, so it doesn't yeah. there's it nothing doesn't, I like more than vagina. I'm sure. So this is a way to take care of the vagina. This is a way to take care of your vagina. New to me. <laughs> way to take care of the vagina. So you can go back douche. once a year, but if you go when you go back once a year, you would only need one session. Once you know, a year, fifteen hundred dollars a year. That's yeah. more than hundred dollars a month. Man, do you know how many miles you can get on in a year and just <laughs> bow? No, clean slate. I want to suggest all those miles. Back. I'm going to suggest you wait every two or three years. Every year, you can't. Two. Who are you? Can't do that. The doctor said that it was good to do it. Of a course, year. she did. She also took your money already. <laughs> La- ladies, don't, don't don't go out there and spend fifteen hundred a year. That's more than hundred dollars a month that you have to save up for this. And you're you gonna, know what? And I'm, you're going to save it because we're not going to just finance on a credit card, right? 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 Yeah, I de- I definitely agree. Use with that, your tips. There are a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of women doing plastic surgery and men too, because there's a lot of men doing plastic surgery. Because she does a lot of things. There's there's tummy tucks. There's there's man's man. I'm getting some work done. Are you? What I'm are you getting three sixty lipo. I'm getting new balls. Well, you know what? Men actually do that. And you know what she told me? You know what she told <laughs> me? And I, I want to share this with our with our listeners because the men, I, I feel you all are just. No, that was important. Dave Chappelle joke. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. um, guys are adding collagen to their penis to make it fuller and plumper. And because uh, th- we talked about the penis, dick ex- injections. It is collagen injections to the penis to make it plumper and thicker, and sometimes that can increase sexual pleasure. Where do you get collagen from? I am not a plastic surgeon, but where we do you, can have Doctor Boots. I'm saying I don't know the is doctor it from you. Not, niggas no. is not finna start going in hotel rooms and getting illegal dick injections. You know injections. what? This is a plastic surgeon, and there are men no, that are signing no, up for it. No, absolutely not. You cannot tell that lie on TV. No, no I'm serious. It's a, doctor's there are men, it's a doctor's office, and men are getting it done because think about it. There are men getting penis implants and and getting extended, ex, you know, extenders on their penis. So if you can I just don't go, believe that. What does that mean? Extenders. You can actually go in and they, so they, they add deeper. they add length to the penis through and a surgery. How? If, if, okay, if your dick is only but so long, right? But they make a slit and they put this thing in it and it extends it out a little bit. How? It, what do you mean? I'm how? saying there. I, I, are you familiar with the dick? You, I am. You know how it works? <laughs> like if you if you pull your dick as far as it can go, there's only so far that it can go. This is true. It's and guess actually what? not rubber. Even though it may seem that way, it's and not rubber. When it fills with blood, mm-hmm. it goes pretty much as far as you just stretch yeah. it. There's and you no, can actually break a dick. A lot of people don't think you can break a dick. There's but nowhere dick can else be broken. To, for them to put something in for it to go. I'm pulling up penile implant surgery. Oh, please. Penile implant is for a man. Who is perhaps suffering with erectile at the tip. dysfunction and offers concealed support for an erection? That's not the same thing. Desired. That ain't the same thing. That's the shit where you put you pump your balls and, it's, and it shh, fills up with air. But that's yeah. That's what. Well, no, 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 no. This is actual, you're talking about a cosmetic. This surgery. is actual surgery. And what I'm saying is, I think that that's bullshit. Okay, but we're talking about just injecting collagen. To okay, make on it the side like, to make it fat. Yeah, to make it fat. I, I can buy that. And I'm and I'm sure guys would, especially if you have a very non. But where do you get collagen? I'm, I can't. You can't buy it. It's plastic surgeon's office. It's natu- is it natural or is it artificial? That's it what I'm is, saying. It is, well, collagen, our bodies produce collagen, but I think it's artificial. I don't think it's from your body. See, that, that art, yeah, artificial. Yeah, I, I don't think you could just like get some of that collagen. be gluten-free and, and <laughs> like get some collagen. Gluten-free now, they could collagen. do a fat, maybe they, I don't That's know. That's why I'm saying, I'll 360 about, lipo and put it all in my dick. i ask about a fat transfer because you know they do it with women. They take fat from their stomach and they put it in their behind or their breast. So maybe you can do that. <laughs> I'll ask her about that for the penis. I will. I'll ask her. So already, you mean to tell me niggas gonna start taking that dad bod? That, that, that I stomach, think that would be a great and idea. transfer it from the stomach to the penis. So then we call it hashtag great, dad dick. It's a dad dick. Hey, it's got retransfer, recyclable fat. 
So um, we we actually we actually did research on this on the No Nonsense show. Well, Jay Smooth did, and he says that a lot of that is is absorbed back into the body. It is, and that's why women have to keep going back to get it done again. Mm. That's why if you see like Kim Kardashian, the butt will look saggy sometimes because the fat has started to droop, and you know, fat. Does that mean it's 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 like a. Fresh, freshly after the surgery, and if now it's, it's plump, starting. It to... is. If it's plump and looks super big and tight, then it's mm-hmm. fresh after surgery. And then you know, fat gravity affects it, so it starts to droop and it starts to hang, and that's when they have to go get it plumped back up. Mm. Now there are some women that are also getting their um, the inside of their vagina nice. bleached. Oh. Yeah, bleached. So it's all what? one color, one consistency. Like it's all types of things you can do. Do what makes you happy. Or just be yourself. I mean, you still That's can okay be yourself. Too. I mean, I'm still myself. I'm no, just, you I know, know, I know, but I'm saying you could have loving on myself. A had you bit. not have done that, yeah, I never had any complaints, never. Right, so I mean, you you would have been okay had you not done it. Yeah, but now yeah. I'm even better. Yeah. I wonder if they can take a laser and just like all, all of the the sex mistakes that you've made, all the people you didn't want to have sex with, you just, just etch their DNA out of your body. Yeah, can you just yeah, with a laser just <laughs> yeah. off your dick? That's funny. You know, if you can get a, a vaginal rejuvenation, then you know they could. I don't know. I don't. I wonder if there's a way to get all that DNA. That would be good. That would be the real first. Like I ain't fucked them hoes. How much DNA you got swimming around in you? I don't know. So when do you? What is your plan? Swimming. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna do this. He's what? trying to get me what? back. I'm trying to figure out how many how many DNA bodies we got. I know none. None. Hey, so when is when are we gonna use it? When is the first time? When, when do you plan? I'm, not. I'm telling you, I'm not. Come on, you gotta use this shit. What was the point? Forty five hundred dollars. Who are famous people who've gotten a vaginal rejuvenation? I don't know because most people don't talk about it. But I do think that you know it just it just it makes you rethink. You know who deserves to be in this? Right. So now it's like, wait, I'm not just giving this shit to anybody. Right. I just got this motherfucker detail. (laughs) (laughs) Can't come in here with your shoes. Take your shoes off, nigga. Alpaca, nigga. Alpaca. So condom sex or no condom sex? I'm I'm not even thinking about sex right now. Honestly, what the fuck? Is it like lamb skin only a, at that point? Who gets a dick implant and doesn't want to have sex? Because I'm just I'm enjoying being my I'm enjoying being single again. I'm enjoying being happy again. And I'm you know I'm just well, I'm. You I know, wish my wife would come home. You got, got new pussy. You don't want to just go. Put miles on oh, it right out the gate. You man, gotta you be know. careful. I got fresh my, off the lot. I got my car. I drive about sixty miles a day. But you gotta be careful who you allow to sit in that seat. Like you know, I can't just just have anybody in this. Mm. Yo, you can, I, mean, I never could, but I'm just saying now it makes you even more cognizant of that. That's why you be trying to walk around cute. You want everybody, uh huh. It's like <laughs> you're stunting with it. Well, I think when you feel good, you you it comes out. You know. Mm. Yeah. It's supposed to come in. It's supposed to. It's We're a new sexual. virginal. It's a new. You know? Do you know mm. how long girls hold on to their virginity and try to pick the right guy? Depends on the neighborhood. I, <laughs> I have to make sure it's the right guy. There's no such thing. It as is the right guy. No, it is. I believe. Does it, it is. still maintain that new pussy smell? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> a new is pussy, that? new card scent douche. Can you get it at the gas station for like three ninety nine? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm impressed though. I'm impressed. I just, I just feel like you have to use it and report back. Now, I, do, I, I am looking forward to using it to know, like, if because it's supposed to make you have orgasms a lot faster and a lot, you know, a lot more it. intense. We'll but see. You're gonna have to have sex with somebody you had sex with before. Otherwise, yeah. how can you get the proper? Yeah, I don't feedback. think that's that's no, no. I think that's one of my rules. I, I don't. I'm not going back. You got to get the proper I'm feedback. I'm not driving in reverse. Find someone who was like, okay, he's a dickhead, but he's alright. You know what I'm saying? He won't expect a relationship. Nah. Hey, look, it might be new pussy, but these the same streets. <laughs> exactly. I'm 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 <laughs> moving the same streets. I'm moving differently. Okay. I'm only gonna. I'm only open for new for new business. Okay. Well. Good luck with that, I guess. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't sound very promising. I'm, I'm gonna have to be honest with you because you're like, I don't want to. I'm really, optimistic. I, Thank you, Kevin. I'm I mean, optimistic. if you could only drive an Alpharetta, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a new car, but you can only drive in an Alpharetta. That's not how hey. it is at all. I can only drive on premium streets. Only on the premium streets. But, but oh, well, I don't. Shit, you know what? You can't go on 285. Then you. When I got my car, no, no, no. When I got my car, uh-huh. my car is a luxury car that has low profile tires. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, ke- I kept. I was driving on the, the streets oh, in flats. Atlanta, which has, and I was getting flats. Mm-hmm. I had seven flat tires in one year. See. You know what? You can't. You got to drive on premium streets. That mm-hmm. car should stay in the garage until it's time to take it out. 
You don't just drive that And if car. you get a flat on your new pussy, one lip hang and the other one stay like this. Okay, you guys aren't going to be serious about this, but if if you guys have one information, I'm going to put I was really the information on this on the uh, on our Facebook page. And if you have questions, you guys, please let me know. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I thought we were asking questions. No, that's what I thought we were doing. No, we were you asking guys are questions. Being silly. <laughs> that's not, that's being not silly. silly. She yeah, took are. her ball and going home. Yeah, right. I, I don't want to play anymore. Screw you. I'm going home. So what else is going on then? So my vagina. So you can't talk about your brand new vagina. So I don't know if you guys, did you guys have a chance to hear T.I.'s new album? I heard about Dime it. Trap. Dime yes. Trap. So I went to the Dime Trap release and there was a lot of conversation about Wayne's new album being amazing, worth the wait. I like Wayne's Agreed. album. Agreed. And the, the comparison between the anticipation of Wayne's album and, and Tip's album. Any thoughts on that? I have not heard T.I.'s album, but I have not heard good things about it either. Really? What? Yeah. I haven't heard good things. Nah, I enjoyed it. He got he got a number of records that, uh, like, I think, I th- actually, I think that Wayne's album and T.I.'s album um, are what, a lot of what uh, rap fans have been missing. Mm. And, you know, was, I'm just saying. Don't get me wrong, we, we enjoy a lot of the records that, you know, might be on the air or whatever, but. No, we don't. <laughs> We need that. You enjoy a little baby about and Gunna. That. Mm-hmm. Nope, not really. Okay. Well, T.I. did the the, the, the the Trap Museum. Yeah. So that's going on right now still. And then there's a, a pink trap haunted house. Yeah, there is. There is for Halloween. Yeah. Y'all don't feel like this is like overcompensating for that little beef he had though? What beef? The beef was between him and Gucci, I guess, wasn't it? Who? Yeah. T.I. about who invented trap. Music or whatever, you don't remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I do remember that, but I don't think I think at this point there he's just it's just a it's they're just trying to look for angles and be creative and sell records. I think people saw that two chains, that trap house did really well. People loved it. People were coming from states across the country to take pictures and run the trap house. And I think it's more of that. I don't know. I don't know that that translated to sales for girls love trap music. We should look that up. I think it did, but did y'all hear Two Chains? New I think project? it's I think it was great. I for, didn't hear it. I didn't even though. know he had a new project out. He does. It's called Wu Chains. Yeah, I ain't heard it yet. He basically took all the Wu Tang songs, oh, wow. the, the tracks and rapped Atlanta shit over them. Oh, that's that's cool. Kinda Two like Chains how, has a great show. Like kind of like I, how Jay Z did the Gray album or whatever with the Beatles yeah. songs. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. I saw him at a one music fest. He had a, he he put he puts on a really good show. He's yeah. personable. He's carrying and he's our age, <laughs> right? He's, he looks at like least. an uncle. He looks like an uncle at on least. stage. All I the think good he may be a little are, older. Are at least thirty. I think he may be a little older than us, but he, he might be. He's he looks like a he looks like my uncle Daryl, right? On stage performing. People still, uh, but people still well, they they embrace him and they. I think because he's not trying to be young, like yeah. he's just kind of a little bit corny. A little, I like a little him. Bit, but yeah, yeah, he's himself. Yeah. I like him. I haven't heard T.I. yet, though, but I'm, I guess I'm interested again. I wasn't. I put it on yeah, the side. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm interested. I, it was interesting hearing the conversations, bef- you know, before so that. So he's not doing the political thing now? Uh, he's, he's still, still like, he is. speaks about it. He speaks about right. it, but it's not, as in- it's not as intense and as in your face. This is a okay. little bit more well-rounded. And then, you know, so Lil Wayne performed at A3C, uh, well, started a performance, and, you know, people... Atlanta, I've been here for about 12 years and, and usually things are, I've, I've probably, all the parties I've been to, I've probably only been to three parties where fights broke out. And did you guys hear that mass hysteria happened at A3C? Little, there was, I guess, a fight in the VIP and, and um, one of my friends, Jamal, was there and he said there was a gunshot in one of the records on Lil Wayne's album and people, people thought, thought it was, it was real and, and I mean, it just shows how quickly um, mass hysteria can hit. People start running. There's no direction. I think 11 people got injured, but you know, not not hurt badly, but enough to go to the hospital and be hurt. But the people that were there were just really like shook up because it was like obviously a real crazy moment. That's that sounds crazy to me because I understand that in in rap, a lot of times we go for the the more. Do I want to? For lack of a better term, uh, provocative sounds. We have mm-hmm. sirens in the music, and we, yeah. you know what I mean. We kind of through. Yeah, sometimes sound. you are like, well, right. <laughs> but this is not the time that we should be having gunshots in the music for large crowds. Like mm-hmm. people got it, it. We were just talking about uh, Las Vegas, mm-hmm. 
Right? That was a big show. The Ariana Grande show. A lot yeah. of where people died and there yeah. was a shooting. This is not the time in that. which I don't, we I don't need think to be doing those are probably things. thinking that deeply into no, it. No, but, but not him because he, right now, everybody's back in the news because of the, the shooting of his tour bus. Remember that? That happened right. in Atlanta. Right. They shot up his tour bus. Yeah. And now they're back in the news because some new information has come out and they're thinking that they may have, like, they may have enough proof to... Uh, you know, I guess convict some of the people who were involved in it, and then at his show, it sounded like a gunshot. Yeah. And goes there was off. fighting yeah. happening before that. So yeah. I've been in a, at a situation where a fight broke out. It happens too fast, and it's scary. Yeah, you don't know. You 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 you're just trying to anything could it, it, somebody could jump and hit the floor, and it's like ah, you know, something happens. And really, people are probably probably only a few people even recognize the gunshot. People are responding to other people running. It's like right. that's the scary thing. Yeah, and they're trampling over barricades and doesn't all that. Ha- doesn't happen at white shows because white people don't run away from danger. They don't. They don't. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not easily spooked. Like what is that? White Negroes people look danger spooked. in the face. <laughs> white people are Chuck Norris. Negroes are like horses. They're easily spooked. Did you just say okay? I'm, hey, Crystal. I don't know if we're gonna get banned for that one, but you know they don't even let black people say stuff about black people anymore. Oh, I said it. Said, and Negroes, Negroes are, are like horses. horses. For eagerly- that alone. <laughs> you guys just put a comma. Oh my God. <laughs> Negroes are like, that is like so white. Oh God, there's so much slavery. And oh my God. What are you talking about? Negroes are like horses. One of my friends said that black people don't like horses because of slavery. And I was like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, what? What? Mm, no, nah, I never said that. I, 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 don't, I don't. What did he mean by that? I was like, "What are you talking about?" I don't know. So, I because you know, I went, I went to a horse retreat, and I was the only black person. There was like thirty white people there, and I did no, kind of feel really? like get out. <laughs> really? <laughs> says the half white. Did the groundskeeper? I know. I make felt. Eyes I did. With you? you know what? Mm. The the cook did. There was a black cook. And she looked like, "What are you doing here?" Right. <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> and I was like. It was weird. It was super weird. It was weird. I felt like. Did it get? Did she give you the fake laugh? Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that fake shit. You guys are hey, silly. No, see? but I, it was weird because I haven't been the only black person in a room full of white people in a long time. Was it jarring? Is that what you? I felt like I was in Get Out, and it was like mm-hmm. only land all around. So I was like, ah, this feels kind of like. Key and Peele uh, or Jordan Peele <laughs> this is together yeah. that would be a good spinoff though right no black girl goes to the country to ride horses and then you know who would be our third uh, host I'm just saying that would be a good that would be a good spinoff because you know how white men have like this objectification of the sexuality of black women so instead of trying to get no, the no, black no, no. guys that playing, was all in the niggas that are like horses that was all that was in all that. in there yes all really that. Well, Male and female. What absolutely. man of any race doesn't objectify a woman? No, sexually? but black women are sexually objectified. Yeah, but what in man a totally different way? Of any race? Have you heard the history objectify- of the Venus Hottentot and how the I white have. men would parade her around at fairs because she had this large? Have you mm-hmm. heard good, the, the myth good of the your- white chick that the niggas all smash? Like the, no man of any race does not sexually objectify a woman. That's your it's job. It's still different. They don't make it right. I didn't say it was right. And but, it's different when it's like that. It's where they're like walking around like what it is that did you wrong, hear Cat Williams right. when he's like you know what is that <laughs> look at what is is that their women what is she carrying on her back is that her ass like you you remember that stand nope. oh anyway go watch his pimping pimping I am just saying that everyone sexually objectifies women black women for good I reason. think white men have a fantasy about black women being overtly sexual I think that every man has a fantasy about women being overtly sexual. It's Says just the biracial con- mulat- mulatto that constantly has the ability yeah. to water everything down. You're constantly water trying to make everything down. You're constantly like trying that. to take away <laughs> the harsh racial undertones that have plagued this country for years. Colorism, <laughs> colorism. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, God. look. If women, if you want something, to, if you want something else to cry about, fine. Go ahead, cry about that too. Cry me a river. Women are sexually objectified. I think that would be a great movie. I think that would be a great movie. The, the, what, women of different races no, being sexually the, objectified? No, that sounds the, brilliant. The female get out, I think Wait, what? I'm telling the you. The female get out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, nah. I'm nah. Like, nah. Whatever. Y'all nah. can't They're shoot all the me down. Correctly. Can't shoot me down. Because, no, to me, to me, there's a lot of black women that embrace uh, white women culture. 
y'all. Mm, yeah. So you say as I sit here with a ton of weave on my head. <laughs> <laughs> but she's calling me half, half but black. There's, but there's a lot of, there's, there's, there's definitely a population, I think, of black women who only date white men, who only wear their hair straight. Is there a population who, of black men who, who love who, who white women? Who, 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 who tend love, to shy so away from that ghetto and, talk. Can we just go ahead and admit right? that everybody loves white people? Black men like black white women. Women. Black women like white men. I don't think black women like white men. I think they are driven to them because we can't find a good black man. No, nah, I don't think you're driven to anybody. And it's not because of black can't men. Can't find. Yeah. Let me can't ask, find. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Yes. If, if I showed you two photos. Okay. One of a black man and a white woman. And the other thought this was gonna go of a black different. woman and a white man. Okay. Yeah. Come on with it. Which picture do you prefer? I don't care. Obviously, the black woman with the white man, but I'm, that's because I'm a woman. Duh. <laughs> you see? Obviously. I'm a woman. No, it's okay from when Obviously. you do it. But you guys started it. So well, how did we? How do we start? Started what? Shall we name as, people? As our- I recall, we both got kidnapped. And I don't remember anybody forcing that black woman to go in. in, in what was the name of that movie with Nat Turner? Nobody forced anybody. Don't you do that. What can you, you say? You, you had just, a choice. You just, you know what? What I'm can, can you say? <laughs> He's trying. He's just trying. I'm not you gonna inflammatory. Do that. <laughs> Ooh, what can you say? Can you say y'all had a choice? You playing the game. You wouldn't have has since cried and apologized for that. Kanye is so full of shit, though, right? I mean, we all do agree with that now. Like, I know we got past the little. I just want him to quit trying to sell me that fucking MAGA hat, man. And the Kaepernick sweatshirt. Like, come on. Like, we're, I got a speech yeah, on that. Go money, come on, man. I don't, like, want it, to go I, don't I, I really believe, honestly believe, that he's going to make it so that people just don't, really don't want to hear his music because of he's the doing dickheads. Too much. Yeah, like, yeah. there was a time when I was like, okay, but if his music is still dope. I still want to check right, it out. Right. I'm starting to feel now like, like I'm full. I don't care. Did you hear he wants to go to the White House? I don't care. He, I, wa- he wants he, to go to the White House to talk about you know the jail system in he's Chicago. Been, I mean, didn't his wife do that already? I mean, we, yeah, I say take him with you. We've been I, there, I just done don't that. care. I don't care what he does. Yeah, I don't anymore. care. Like either. he's literally going to make me. I mean, he's seriously going to make me not even care about. The, I agree. I, I don't even want to hear it. I'm good. Mm. I, I'm I'm full. I'm. An, it's enough. Yeah. Unless he can go back and do another college dropout, he can't. He can't. He should go back to school. He can't. Go back to Donda. <laughs> he can't. Don't yes. do that. that yes, yes. No, yes. Go back to Donda. No, that's no. his mom passed no. away. No, yeah, don't do yeah, that. Yes, yes. Don't do that. No, no. Find that fucking photo album. Cry it out, man. God damn it. Yo. You're not a therapist. No, man. You can't it's, do that. It's, it's heal. God damn it, heal. Nah. He heal. Can't. Who heal? It doesn't, it doesn't heal. Because he heals. he's still bleeding, man. All that shit. Find them photo albums. Listen to them recordings. Go back to her favorite place, her, her grave site. Visit you, oh, it. No, see no, it. No, no, no. We yes, can't. Yes, go that. take her some flowers. Yes, man. Viewers, do all the shit. We're sorry. This shit is done, man. You might as well go and give up. He, he, he's going to just either be quiet and disappear into oblivion, or he's going to keep making this, these, these worse and worse albums and making these ridiculous political statements that. Just I want it to stop. Sense. Like, I just really yeah. wanted to stop. I, I think what he, what he, what he, in his mind, what he sees himself doing is starting the conversation for more intelligent people to to have. <laughs> you think he's being a catalyst? I think that he thinks he's a catalyst. Uh. I think that he feels like I don't know shit about this. That's why when they come ask him questions, like I'm not going to answer I that think question he's right just now. A blundering I think, idiot. At I, the, I mean, he's he's very intelligent, but I think he's just stumbling is over he, stuff. Is he very intelligent? I mean, what is what is the definition of very intelligent, though? I you guess we can break that down. Well, I, I'll say I'll say this. I think that there is definitely a population of people that believe that he, for some reason, at one point, he had it. Whatever had what? it is. Oh, the it factor. Whatever, yeah, whatever it is in terms of the personality and charisma, and possibly even being able to speak. I think he, he had just. I something. think Paul. I think that and Kanye the message has gotten lost. Was the kid that got bullied and was not considered cool who just. All of a sudden, got bold enough to get a voice. Have you ever seen the fat girl in school that loses weight and she will not let anyone forget that now she's fine? I think that's with him. That's what he is. He's the lame guy that finally got in with the cool kids and he knows he doesn't belong still. And he's just like, I'm going to make you people pay for it because, and he, he has like a self hate situation happening with black. He just, it's just too much. It's too much. It's too much. I actually like his wife better at this point. We know who she is. She doesn't, she, she's very consistent. We know who she is. I like that better. Kanye is just like you're all over the place. One minute you're crying and saying you love black people. The next minute you're telling them they, they had a choice with slavery. I, I, I'm, it's, I'm full.
I'm full. No There's kind of not a lot I can say to that. I mean, yeah. yeah. And I like Kanye, but I don't. I like anymore. the old Kanye. I don't, I don't even want to say that because he said that in a song because he knew. You know, he wants you to say that. Yeah. I don't even say that. I just don't fuck with him, really. It's just less and less each day. Yeah, I agree. Less and less each day I'm <laughs> You're fucking distancing with him. yourself. Now, to now I hear mm-hmm. the old music, and I'm not even like... I'm not even distancing myself. What I did, I just stopped walking. He's still walking. Yeah. And like, he's, he's you know, like, it's I, like when the I, train disconnects, and yeah. the one, you like, you waving, <laughs> and one part of the train keeps going, and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And yours is gradually coming to a stop. That's my train. Yeah. I'm the caboose. He's on the rest of the train, you know? Got you. My stop's here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, love, and joy. <laughs> Best quote of the year. Love it. I'm good, love. And joy. I don't know what that Are is. you good, good? You don't even have to say anything. It's just, it's just, it's, it, it is what it is. I have no idea what that is. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's okay. the latest internet joke. Oh, I don't know. No, it's, fut- it's Future's text to a female that was trying to come and hook up with him, that, but was trying to play mental mind games. So he flies her out. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, she gets out and she's like, she didn't want to have sex, but she wants to get in the studio. And he's like, eh. I'm good, love, and joy. Right. Yeah. And then she was pissed and trying yeah, to expose she tried him. To like yeah. share the t- yeah. Like, who cares? Like, like you are an idiot. Yeah. He didn't do you dirty. She made no. it seem like he was like a bad yeah. dude. Yeah. She because he got to. her stranded in the city, but she flew her dumb ass out there. And I heard she paid for her own plane ticket. She did pay for. Her he was supposed to pay the, her with back the, with the with the understanding that he was going to pay her back. But any girl that flies out to first of all, who flies themselves out? Because God, future could make a phone call, put you in the phone with someone, they could book your ticket. So yeah, no, ma'am, I'm not responsible. Second she's of all, yeah. yeah, come on, he's going to fly you. You're just so special yeah. that he's going to fly you out to work with. Here's the thing. Artists. Let me ask you this because you're a lady. Do you? Think he would have paid for her ticket if she had fucked. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it would have happened. So mm. you're I the think idiot. He assumed uh, that maybe that... not. No, he would have. I, mean, no, he I don't think he would have. It's future. I don't think he would have. No, I think he would have. I think <laughs> no, he, I has, think he, he has. He has been known to be disrespectful. Hey, I'm just <laughs> he saying. He has been known <laughs> to be disrespectful. Do you know how much this dick costs? But I think that she she self up. You don't fly. You don't ever fly yourself, ladies. Don't ever fly yourself. Don't ever fly yourself. Yeah, I can even agree with that one. You stupid. Like who does that? Anyway, Certainly well, you can go where after. you want to. No, you're a lady. You can. You're <clears throat> empowered. You can go where you want to go. Yeah, do go what you want to do. But not to a man if on your wants, own dime. If he wants you, he will send for you. If not, then you you know do your own thing. You don't fly yourself to the penis. Right. What kind of backwards ass game is this? Anyway, well, that's, Dr. that's why that's why the price of vagina has gone down. So I bet you deeply. this one's gone up. <sighs> Listeners, let me check Robin Hood. Let me see what the new <laughs> price of pussy is this week. It's not. I bet if it's been if it's been uh, surgically it's up and altered, down, it's, it's been up and down. Up. For forty five hundred dollars, you too can talk <laughs> shit to your co host on Music Love Life. <laughs> pussy is ninety seven dollars a share. <laughs> That's down from 140, which is what I was saying mm-hmm. I hate you uh, less that. than a year ago. But that's true business. Anyway, we hope that you guys enjoy <laughs> our show. And if you did, make sure you share it with someone. Yeah, if you have comments, please leave them for us. We'd love to hear your comments. Like Crystal should share that pussy because <laughs> oh, it's new. At least show your boobs. Nobody's man. even gonna know about it, Crystal. Nobody even knows it's new. Like what's I the know point? I am the most important person to her. She, she said, is me okay. and I am her. She said you're gonna have stronger, longer, better orgasms. Yes. You won't know. I will know because I, when the time is right, I will unleash she it. She's telling you she ain't, but she's going to test drive. No, I'm not. Pussy. She I'm already t- did, probably. First she of gonna, all, I'm going to go She's going to test no drive that lie. pussy. She's going to Snapchat that pussy. What? <laughs> you mean tell me there ain't, ain't a thousand pictures of a new pussy in I that will phone, let you nigga? go through my phone right now. I promise you there's no pussy picture in here. <laughs> she you got want, that little you password. Want to, you, you want some? Oh, oh like you're going to let's go. You're going to show me the vault. She got a you password show me the protected vault. app. Let's go. It's no. cool. We, I, the I only picture you. in here that is sexual is the girl that we just talked to. Come on through it. Come on, Cletus. I trust you. I, I don't need to see it. Yeah, yeah right. It's Cause, not. Because all our pictures it's, are there. It's probably still in the bandages. That's why. <laughs> it's probably still in a splint. You think it's band- You think it's wrapped up like Rocky? <laughs> <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Oh, does it initially bruise, though? Like, share, subscribe. It probably doesn't look subscribe. like it had a car accident. <laughs> like one eye closed. Like, share, and Ooh. subscribe. Black and blue. <laughs> cool.